The Andy Griffin Show. Sponsored by Hilltop Holdings. Okay, Sarah. I know that possum's been in your flower bed. I'll send Barney over just as soon as possible. Andy, I need you to settle something. He ain't gonna do nothing. Uh, we'll see about that. Whoa, what's going on here? Miss Pearl Mayfield here owes me $2,000 for some livestock feed, and I want you to make her sell her pathetic buffalo herd and pay up. Now, hold on. That's just not how we do things around here. Andy, sounds like we got a 907 section Roman numeral five. Failure to discharge an unsecured debt obligation. I'm sure we can work this out. That's right, we need to nip it, nip it, and the butter. Come on, Mr. Thornberry, you've got all the money in the world. Can't you just give me a little more time? Besides, you'd be nowhere if my daddy hadn't loaned your day the money to get that store built in the first place. That don't change a thing. Come along, Opie. Hi, Paul. Good golly, Aunt B. What are you feeding that boy? He's growing like a weed. I think you need to get him a razor. Come along home, Andy. It's time for dinner. Well, I'm a mite busy right now, Aunt B. But I have a roast in the oven, and Opie's hungry. Yeah, Paul. OK, I just need to figure what to do about this first. Maybe we should let these two cool air jets in a jail cell for a few hours. I don't know what you two are squabbling about, but I know anything can be resolved over a piece of pie. I have a delicious Hogwash. pie. Hogwash. Sheriff, what are you going to do about this? Why don't you take a little time and simmer down? I'll go over to Pearl's Ranch tomorrow, and we'll see what we can figure out. Oh, can I come along, Pa? I love them buffalo. <laughs> sure, son. Now, I know you don't want to sell the buffaloes, but... They's like my family, Andy. I just can't do it. OK, well, what else can you sell to pay Thornberry? Well, what I got in here are some of my most valued possessions. OK, let's give it a look. Wow. This is a silver buffalo medallion. Yeah, I don't think I can part with that. What about these? Daddy's buffalo cufflinks. Those look pretty nice. Yeah, I, I don't think I can sell those. What about this old piece of paper? Oh, I forgot about that. That's an old $100 bond that my daddy gave me. That was a thank you gift from Mr. Thornberry's daddy for helping get the old store built. Well, that's nice, but you do owe Mr. Thornberry quite a bit of money. I got your new carburetor installed. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Gomer. Well, hey, fellas. Everything okay? Andy's just helping me out with a little bit of a negative cash flow situation. Well, golly. Don't you worry about this repair. It's on me. Oh, Gomer, that's mighty nice of you. My mama always says there's three things important in life. Be kind, be kind, be kind. Oh, Gomer, thank you. I'm going to find a way to pay you back somehow. See ya. Oh, Andy, don't tell me i got to sell the herd. Paul. Maybe you can talk to him. Paul, I got it. Opie, hold on. We're trying to sort this out. OK, Paul, but according to this, Mr. Thornberry owns Miss Mayfield darn near $150,000. OK, Opie, that's quite nice, but... <laughs> $150,000? Says right here, this was issued in 1870, pays 8% APR, and is redeemable at any time. 1870? That was 95 years ago. So what are you saying? With interest, Mr. Thornberry owes you $149,712.05, roughly. Well, now don't that change things. Thanks, Sarah. I'm glad we were able to help. You call any time. Hey, Andy. Well, hey, Gomer. My new chauffeur. Shazam! <laughs> so, Opie figured out this whole money thing, huh? Yep. Just goes to show, a great idea can come from anywhere when you get everyone involved. I mean, you had that idea of locking them up. <laughs> well, yeah. Aunt B was going to cook them a pie. And it would appear that Opie's picked up a heap of learning about finances. That's right. Now, Andy, I don't know what you want me to do about that old bond you found. I'd like it in cash. 
I don't have $150,000 in cash. I mean, I'd have to fire every employee and close the store. Close the store? When you say it like that, I don't want anyone's losing their job. I just want to live out my days on my ranch with my buffalo. How about we forget all this and you just give me my livestock feed for free? Well? And everybody at the store gets a raise. What? Okay, deal. That's mighty nice of you, Pearl. Well, you know what they say. There's only three things in life that's important. Be kind, be kind, be kind. <laughs> I arrested these two before they had a chance to rob the bank. They were just strolling down the street. Barney, it's Halloween. These are just kids in costume. Halloween? Say, you kids got any candy? Happy Halloween!